one of the leaders of the Highlander Research and Education Center, talking about that heartbreaking fire and the disturbing find in the ashes. It was early Friday when the center's main office burned down in Jefferson mm -hmm. County. The first report was of a brush fire. Later, we learned it was a fire at the Highlander Center, which for decades has trained community activists. The organization is also known for the role it played in the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. Yesterday, we told you when the Highlander Center announced that graffiti connected with the white power movement was found in a parking lot. Well, today we sent WATE six on your side reporter Madison Kiwi to New Market, learning about the center's ordeal and the investigation for tonight's top story. In the days following the fire and the white power symbol spray painted on the parking lot ground, the Highlander Center has been met with love and support from all over the world. One of the co-directors tells me that if this is indeed an attack, it's not the first the Highlander Center's faced in its almost 90 year history. It's a great sense of loss and that a sacred space had been had been violated. Unanswered questions about the fire that destroyed this main office building and the white power symbol spray painted near it still circling the mind of the Highlander Center's co-director. The fire that burned down our building is devastating. Um, there's a lot of grief. Ashley Woodard Henderson says it's a blessing. No one was hurt. What we're certain of is that we, we use that parking lot daily um, and had not seen it before Friday morning. The symbol, which looks like a three by three hashtag, was used by a far right anti-Semitic movement in Romania during the 1930s. That's according to the Anti-Defamation League's regional director. More recently, the ADL reports the symbol was found on the gun used during a mass shooting in Christchurch, New Zealand. The ADL's regional director says it's rarely seen in the U.S., with the exception of the traditionalist worker party. Matthew Heimbach, the group's leader, even wearing it on a shirt. And just last year, the same white power symbol was found spray painted next to the neo-Nazi group's name on the rock at UT. Oh. Could you believe what was happening? Yeah, I mean... I was in shock. Back at the Highlander Center, the symbol and the fire aren't stopping their work towards social justice. To love and support each other um, would be to continue to do your incredible life-saving work. We intend to, um, and to be vigilant about safety, um, that this is not disconnected from a, 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 what's the reality of a lot of people across this country and across the globe. Um, and so it's our duty to continue to do this work. This is still under investigation. I'm told that center staff haven't even been able to go inside the building to see what's left and what survived. Reporting in New Market, I'm Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Madison, mm. thank you. Now, Henderson says they don't know what actually survived yeah. in that fire. The center's archives are not completely destroyed. We're being told that some were able to be saved. They're so grateful for that, at least, even though they don't know what's mm -hmm. in there yet. Henderson says part of the archives are stored at the Wisconsin Historical Society. They confirmed that to us this afternoon. In the meantime, that investigation continues.